All right, guys. So, <clears throat> um, iOS five beta five, iOS five beta five is out apparently. Um. Oh, and by the way, sorry about my voice. I'm losing my voice because I was. I don't even know why I'm losing my voice. But yeah. Um. So apparently Apple has made it so you have to restore or you have to erase everything on your iPad or iPod or iPad or iPhone to uh, um, get iOS 5 beta 5 over the air or you can just download and restore it with iTunes. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, uh, restore it on without a cord or anything. So let's just get into it. First go to general. Scroll down, click reset, and then erase all content and settings right there. Click it, then down here it'll say this and just click erase iPod. Erase iPod. Alright. Now I don't know if I'll have to cut it or anything, but I really don't want to cut it. It seems to be going pretty fast. <clears throat> so I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to let it load. Alright. And then that happened. I don't even know what just happened. This is a iPod Touch 4th generation. 64 gigabyte. It was running iOS 5 beta 4. <clears throat> Looks like we have a bar again. Oh, that looks to be... Alright, and then you have a slide to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. English. United States. Enable location. Let me just go ahead and type my password in. Alright, next. Set up as new. Sign in with Apple ID. Just type this in. Alright. And then we have the terms and conditions. Agree. Agree. And then it may take a few moments to set up your Apple ID. Sorry about the wait, but yeah, it says that. It's taken a, quite a long time. Alright, and the screen looks like it shut off. There we go. And then set up iCloud next. Yeah, go. I don't really care. Next.
So it does look like though I'm on iOS 5 beta 5 because I don't remember this screen or the screen before that. It seems like iCloud, there's a lot more things you have to do with iCloud now. It's taken a really long time. So it says up here, it says back up to iCloud once a day with 5 gigabytes of free storage. iTunes store purchases do not count against your iCloud storage. Alright, and then we got the Find My iPod Touch. Just click next. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then start using My iPod Touch. So it looks like I am inside of it. Let's go ahead and see if I'm on iOS 5. Alright, so then we have this iOS 5 beta 5 it is, seems to be downloading so yeah so basically Apple decided to make that make everybody that wants iOS 5 beta 5 uh, restore their iPod I do not know why I, that seems kind of silly to me <clears throat> but yeah that's all you get I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because I know from past experience it takes a really long time to download this I'll come back and stuff but yeah so once again make sure you go to if you want iOS 5 beta 5 make sure you go to settings general scroll down reset then erase all content and settings and then you'll go through the setup and then you'll be downloading iOS 5 beta 5 alright I'll be back in a couple minutes to uh, show you what next. Alright guys, so it is done now. Downloading the iOS 5 beta 5 software. Um, so I just figured something out that if you do not have 50% of battery or if you don't have a power source then you can't get the update. You have to have 50% of battery or connected to a power source. So I just connected to a power source. That's the easiest way for me. <clears throat> um, so next once it's finished downloading, it'll be basically the same, except for down here it'll say install now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. Then terms and conditions, of course, agree. Just going to verify the update. Still verifying. Alright, powering off. Alright, that's powered off all the way. Booting up, we're going to put that bar thing on there. Does look like the screen is on. Oh, there we go. There we got a little spiral thing. And then we got the bar. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Alright, so it has finished the bar. Now it is, I don't know, I think it's booting with my other. <clears throat> um, since the other one with the iOS 5 beta 4, I think it's booting. It's going to have one more little bar thing. Yep, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> this one will go faster. I think it will go faster, I don't really know. Alright, 
There we go. It's good to get it's going. All right, there we go. The bar is done. <clears throat> it should be booting up now. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock here. All right, so I just got this little notification here. It says iCloud backup. Uh, this iPod Touch hasn't been backed up in three weeks. Backup backups happen when the iPod Touch is plugged in, locked, and connected to Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. Um, so yeah. There it is. I I believe I'm on iOS 5. Beta 5. Just go ahead and look if there is. Alright, so there it is, iOS 5.0, your software is up to date. So yeah, there you go, you got iOS 5, Beta 5. Um, so iCloud apparently should be working. I'm just trying to look at this. Alright, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll be coming at you with more iOS 5 um, updates or anything like that. Thanks.